when we rise up, they won't. They will fight before they allow us to rise. But we got to be willing to die in order to be free. Freedom is not free. In America, we marched in the 60s. That's when I was young. I'm 70 years old now. Wow. I have 11 children and three wives. Wow. Okay? So we have to be willing to die to be free. Okay. If you're not willing to die, then you can't be free. What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Polygamy. I want to share a video right here of our man, Vice Man TV. Go check out his video. Local Ghanaian who just interviews everybody who's coming into the country. But he interviews an African-American who states that he is loving his three wives. I say to you guys out there in these Western worlds, why cheat? Why break a woman's heart? When you can come right here in Africa and get as many as wives as you want to. Check the video out and I'll just say a final word. I'll be back. My name is, well, in here in Ghana, it is Kofi, Chicago. In Israel, it is El Naquam. And in Chicago, it is Stephen. Okay. I have many names in many places. Why are you visiting our continent? Ah, I came here in 2006. I created a family. I built a house in the mountains. I have four children and a wife here. So this is my home. 2006. Uh -huh. Wow. America. They don't know that if you're not free, you cannot live good. Yeah. We work hard, hard. Instead of using chains, they use money. You want me to work longer hours, I give you more money. That is it. But they're printing the money, so it's okay. It's just a new form of slavery, okay. financial slavery. Okay. Like it is here. For one American dollar, it takes 11 CDs. So you got to make 12 times more to just equal the one that I make. Yes. So how can you be free if your, your finances are never free? Okay. So you think that still we are in slavery? Absolutely. It's not think. I know. Slavery is existing right now, but they don't use change. They use money. Thank and they use goods and services like cell phones and TVs. How can we free ourselves from slavery? What do you think? That's a hard question. First of all, we have to learn to love ourselves. We have to really, and we have to free, our politicians have to be for the people. Okay. They're for themselves. They just want to get more money for their families. But a government that is for the people, for this type of election stuff, white man created this and he put it here to keep you enslaved. This is not free. These people are not for the people. They get elected and they do what they want to do to make more money and keep their foot on the people's necks and charge more taxes. So you think that politics is a scam? Politics, all of it. The resources, the politicians allow white corporations to control the cocoa board. They control the gold. They control, Ghana doesn't even control its own water. It does not control its electricity. If you don't control anything, how is it that the poorest people can be in the richest land? This is the richest land on the earth. It is the center of the world, zero, zero of the coordinates. We have gold, we have cocoa, we have fruits, we have everything but freedom because the chains are on our mind. They use religion to control us. You worship a white God. You worship a, 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 a God for Islam. What is that, an Arab God? You worship, an, you worship everybody but your own. We have forgotten that we are of Mother Earth. It's all, it's all, it's a trick. It's a program. But it has been used to control the people. When the white man came here, he had the Bible. We had the resources. Now he has the resources and we have the Bible. It's not a fair trade. It's not, it's not a good tool. It's not good. Uh -huh. But you think he, that. We had the gold. We had the cocoa. We had everything. No, we don't have the cocoa. We don't have nothing. No, the cocoa no. board is controlled. All of our resources are controlled by white people. The enslavers, the colonizers, the ones that came here, and they're still here today. They're still doing the same thing. Ain't nothing changed but the date. You can't be free unless you're willing to die. You know what? I'm really happy for you to have married a black woman. You know? I don't want no white woman. I have three black wives. Three? My wives, yes. This is my wife, Bituka. And wow. I have two more wives in the U.S. They're all African. Why? Of African. Why? Because I am African. My skin looked like this because Obroni raped my ancestors. 
but my spirit and my heart, and I know who I am. My great grandfather is darker than you. So I know my roots, I know my ancestors. You know, the state of security in Ghana and the state of security in the US. Are you free when you're working in Ghana? Am I free? Yeah, the state I'm of security. I'm freer than in the US. You're free than here? You, yeah. you are free, you are here, free here than the there. US. They will pull you over there, put you in jail, and leave you in jail for three, four years without even going to court. Here, you can give the police small, small, and you won't go to jail. I'd rather be here than there. <laughs> You, you do that? Ah, yeah, you do that. But here, at least you ain't going to jail for 10 years. Yeah. I would rather be here and deal with this than be there. Because all that it is is that everybody got to eat, okay? But there, they want to put you in jail because they have a whole system set up with millions of African people in jail. And they make millions and millions of dollars off of feeding you and clothing you and housing you. So it's a whole system. It's slavery. And in the U.S. Constitution, if you're in jail, you are considered a slave. That's in the U.S. Constitution. So they put us in jail plenty, plenty. So they can just, they can control us. But here they don't do that. And I'm glad to be here. I love the Ghana police. <laughs> it's true. I love the Ghana police. Go be saying that. I'm saying, it's true. Okay. I'm not kidding. Okay. So, you know something? You have the platform. You're, you're actually going to see your last words to the people out there. What do you have for the people out there? Anyone? Just try to understand that the system is stacked against you. That's why you're not, that's why you're in the situation you're in. It's not because of you. It's not because of your education. The whole system is created to keep you where you are and understand that you can come above the system. Free your mind and your ass will follow. What do you think? I'm saying this right here. We got to get out of this Western thinking. Many people say that men shouldn't even be strapped down to one woman. And if, that, if not so, then why is it that you can find in African countries, where we originated from, that it's permitted, even in the Muslim countries, it's permitted to have more than one wife. But because we are in a Western world, Caucasian thinking, my, mindset, mentality, we think we're only supposed to be down to one. Now, I know you women do not like that, but that's okay. Because you can stay right there in the Western worlds while your brothers enjoy more than one woman. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Think about it, 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 think about it.